you're going to show you more evidence from the unholy Quran that Islam is a violent, murderous religion. So, let's get right into it. Might going to offend some people, but don't care, because I don't care about what the Word of God says. I don't care about offending people, your feelings, your opinions, don't, they don't matter. What does the Word of God say? Of course, the Quran is not the Word of God, but I'm going to get into the actual Word of God, the King James Bible, in a little bit. So first of all, what does the Quran say? More verses about violence against non-Muslims. So, Muslims, it says in the Quran, get a reward, a great reward for fighting and being killed for Allah. Quran chapter 4, verse number 24. So let those fight in the cause of Allah, who sell the life of this world for the hereafter, and he who fights in the cause of Allah is killed and is killed or achieves victory, we will bestow upon him a great reward. So they're going to get rewards for being killed for Allah and fighting and basically doing attacks for Allah. Next point, if non-Muslims, the Quran says, if non-Muslims turn away from Islam, Muslims are commanded to kill them wherever they're found. Quran chapter 4 verse 89. They wish you would disbelieve as they disbelieved, so you would be alike. So do not, do not take from them among them allies until they emigrate for the cause of Allah. But if they turn away, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them. And take not from among them and any ally or helper. So just wherever you find them, just kill them. You know? But then you have these politicians who have the gall to say that, oh, it's a peaceful religion. No, it's not. It's supposed to kill non-Muslims. And that includes Christians, by the way, too, because we're you know, polytheists, because we believe in the biblical Godhead. Not the, obviously not the pagan three-god trinity, but a whole other issue. Here are some other verses, by the way, that basically command Muslims to fight and kill non-Muslims. Quran chapter 9, verse number 14. Fight them. Allah will punish them by your hand and will disgrace them and give you victory over them and satisfy the breasts of the believing people. Quran chapter 9, verse 88. But the messenger and those who believed with him fought with their wealth and with their lives. Those who will have, and that is, all that is good, and it is those who are the successful. And Quran chapter 9, verses 123. O oh, you who have believed, fight those adjacent to you of the disbelievers, and let them find you harshness, and you know that Allah is with the righteous. So again, openly encouraging violence against non-Muslims, which again includes Christians. Because we believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, which I showed in my last video, or not in my last video, I've showed in online postings that the Quran commands Muslims to basically, well, the Quran curses those who believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. What does the Bible say that Word of God, the King James Bible? Well, first of all, this is where Christians, are, us Christians, are supposed to live peacefully. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it be possible, as much as lieth within you, live peaceably with all men. Romans chapter 14, verse number 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Jesus Christ himself said, blessed are the peacemakers, not blessed are the war makers. Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Peacemakers, not war makers. And finally, God is called the God of peace. Not the God of war. 2 Corinthians 13 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Big difference. We're not told to go out and kill non Christians and forcibly convert them to believing in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. We're not told to go do that. We should go out and preach the gospel. We should warn every man. The Bible tells us that. But we're not going to violently subjugate people and try to force them to convert by the edge of the, edge of the sword. That was how Islam was spread. Same thing with Roman Catholicism, another pagan false religion. Roman Catholicism is a pagan false religion that was started by the pagan, well basically it was started by Satan obviously, but it borrows pagan Roman, Roman religion elements and mixes it in with Christianity. And just like Islam, the pagan Roman Catholic Church violently subjugated those who didn't believe the papal heresies. Same thing with Islam, which is actually funny because if you look at the history, Islam was started by Augustinian monks. Muhammad, the uh, pervert polygamist, polygamist pedophile, uh, he was under the influence of Augustinian monks. 
Islam is, is a creation of the pagan Roman Catholic Church, which is why Islam is pagan itself, because Islam borrows elements from Arabic paganism. I mean, Allah, the, god, the Islamic god Allah, is a pagan moon god, pagan Arabic moon god. And uh, Mecca thing, uh, the, was it the Kaaba, whatever that thing is called, it uh, goes back to pre-Islamic pagan Arabia, uh, praying, facing towards the Mecca, you know, all this prayer rugs, all this other stuff. Uh, where is that, you know, in the Torah? Because supposedly they believe the Torah, it's paganism. It comes from Arabic paganism. So, don't be deceived. Uh, Allah is not the God of the Bible. Allah is a pagan moon god. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.